So to get started, let's talk about the primary colors of light for a second. Red, green, and blue are our three primary colors of lighting. We can mix these three colors to form any of the secondary colors or basically any, any color that we want, any color we want to show to the audience. So if you're watching this on a computer screen or on a phone screen, which all of you are, uh, if you get really close to that screen, you can probably see tiny little pixels on it. Most of the screens that we have in our everyday lives right now are made up of tiny, tiny little pixels that have red, green, and blue emitters in them. And by varying the levels of each one of those color emitters, we're able to create basically any color we want. So in this demo right now, we have a red light and we have a blue light, right? So if I combine those two together, Watch that overlap in the center. You're gonna see that the red and the blue primaries are mixing together in the center to form a secondary color, magenta. You do the same thing with blue and green. We have two blue, a blue light and a green light. We combine them together and in the center we get cyan. That's our second secondary color. And then finally, if we look at a red light and a green light combined together, they combine in the center to form yellow. So we take all three of those primary colors, all three of those lights, we combine them together in the center to get white. Of course, bear with me, you know, capture is not perfect, uh, but <laughs> you hopefully see that that's, that's pretty white. So this is probably an image you've seen before. It's a pretty standard uh, RGB CMY color wheel. It's basically just an illustrated version of that demo that I just showed you. I also have that on my arm right here. It helps when I'm teaching in a classroom because I can just point to it. Here's a little bit of a kind of a mathematical view of that. So again, red and blue combine together to form magenta, blue and green can combine together to form cyan, and green and red combine together to form yellow. So again, we have our three primaries and our three secondaries.